What's going on, guys? All right, you're watching Planet Dance. Uh, me and Shane switched bodies. Uh, <laughs> you guys know me. I'm Easy, the Hollywood hit guy. And Shane's running a little bit late, so I'm uh, just taking his place here Black and uh, letting you guys know. And as, as you see, I'm wearing my sunglasses, and uh, you know you can't see my eyeballs because I'm trying to be like Shane. No, I'm kidding. So we got some uh, some awesome guests here in the house as we're waiting for him. And uh, I actually just got done doing my show, the Easy Show, down at the studio down the street. And I got my man uh, Sean McNabb in the house right here from Sons of Anarchy sitting next to me. I, I wanted to just show you the studio, but now you're on the show. Man, <laughs> that's the way you roll, you know, and I appreciate it. It was Never know what's gonna happen a great morning, and uh, thanks for showing me this place, man. That's killer. Well, and and we got uh, Mr. Big Willie. Big Willie time in the house. Big Willie G in Big the Willie place G. to oh. be. We rocking and rolling with EZ and the Sons of Anarchy. Oh! oh you like that? No, I'm not. <laughs> and you have incredible abilities, and when you talk, you're so silly. Indeed. And you look like Free Willy. No. Hello. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. I'm just no, playing. No, no, that's the truth. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Ain't nothing wrong with and that. You were, I love black and white. You were a big, uh, you know, Nickelodeon star and Heck Disney star. The, and yeah. I mean, you, you, I, mean, you I don't know about thing, big really. because, I mean, I mean, of course, my stomach's big, but, you know, hello. <laughs> <laughs> You used to run Papa John's Pizza the whole the whole Man, circuit. Man, used to absolutely. St we still got the client. They're still, still mm -hmm. our clients. They're pretty cool. You know what I mean? They're good, they're good people. Still bringing in dough two ways. <laughs> I love it. More than one. But we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. You guys, you're watching Planet Dance Pay on some Easy bills. Way TV. This is nothing but support for all the dreamers out That's there, right. as my man Shane would say. And hopefully, when we come back, Shane will be sitting here, not me. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Shane Sparks, Planet Dance. I'd like to say I appreciate you, Easy, for taking in. We just basically morphed into two different people. So now I'm here and he's gone, but he's still here. Yo, I got my boy Sean McNabb in the building. If you're not you. familiar with the show Sons of Anarchy, you better get familiar with it. What's up, Sean? What's up, Shane? I'm good. I never yeah, met you before, man. but it's definitely a pleasure. A pleasure. I can tell that you are 100% who you are and what you do, you know what I mean? And I say that because I grew up as a street dancer and I dressed and did it 
from the day I fought, fell in love with it to right now. And you, you have people who live it only when they're on TV. Mm. They live it only when they're doing it. Mm -hmm. I live this every single day, and I can tell you live it every day. It's, it's who you are, and I love that, and I respect that. So man, I, wanna... I saw your stuff earlier, and I'm like, that dude's got a cool look, man. <laughs> It's Appreciate like, it, man. Sitting here with you, this is this is my thing, man. But tell me about the show. Tell me what's going on, and you know what you do on the show. Tell me a little bit. Well, man, I'm blessed to be part of the show. It's mm -hmm. it's a fantastic uh, show on Tuesday nights on FX, and uh, you know we've, we've got young people, we've got grandmas, we got everything in between. Right. <laughs> addicted to this I love show, it. You so know. so what's the premise of the show? Well, it's about uh, an outlaw motorcycle gang that okay. uh, does what they got to do uh, <laughs> to make to a make ends meet and right. things. And uh, there's a, you know a lot of drama in between that, and uh, with rival clubs and uh, the Irish and uh, prostitution and drugs and gun running and uh, really and uh, so it's it's not the show's not for everybody, but uh, it's the number one show on FX um, currently, wow. and it's we're in our sixth season. I'm gonna tell you this, Sean, because we live in two different worlds, and if you now that you told me that, it makes me want to watch it now. Cool, you know what man. I mean? Because you know, like when you live in two different worlds, you see the preview. I see the previews all the time. It comes up on the bottom of my TV at least <laughs> ten times on FX. I see it all the time. But now I'm interested in wanting to see it, and it usually it takes a video or somebody to tell me a little bit about certain shows if it's not something that I'm used to for me to you know to want to check it out. It sounds very interesting, and it's another life that I've never experienced that. I kind of want to see exactly what y'all do to survive. I, th I you think know? you dig it, man, and uh, it really comes down to it. it's so well written yeah. and uh, well acted. Uh, the the crew is like one of the best in Hollywood. I mean, it's just a really every it's a tight knit family and a lot of talented people uh, under the the roof there. You know. So, so tell me this: what's your favorite bike? Oh, Harley's all the way. <laughs> He said, oh, they didn't even hesitate. I right. love it. Nothing against Yamaha's. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we ride Harleys, and uh, and Harley's been real good to the show. I'm, nice. I've got three Harleys, wow. and uh, I do live it. And uh, whenever you need to decompress, man, you hop on that bike and get I the can... wind in your face, and uh, just all quiet. Man, down. I was in the car the other day. It's, it's weird how you say stuff and certain things hit you, and I was talking to my girl, and we were sitting in the car, and I was just like, and this dude just, this flew by. I don't know what bike it was. I was like, imagine the power you feel when mm. you're riding something that strong and that powerful by yourself, free as a bird, no no brakes, I mean, no bumpers, no doors. At any minute, <laughs> no bumpers. anything could happen, but knowing that <laughs> and having that control has got to be like, like flying, you know what I mean? It's like having having the power, like you can fly. Yeah, it's you got to have a little daredevil in you yeah. too. L.A. everybody on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so you be, you always should have a contingency plan on how to get yeah. out. But uh, <laughs> so if you're out there driving on your phone, man, please. Uh, uh, I'm that I'm that guy who careful. when I see a dude on a bike, I always move to the side because I know that's just that's respect that's and it's cool, basically man. letting them know that you know. I know you got to get somewhere, hey, and you know we appreciate. I'm that guy, you, and they man, always go like know. this yeah. every time. <laughs> they, the bikers, have more respect than the cars. People yeah. in the cars. They'll you let somebody in the, in the car, they be like, "Yeah, right. keep on going." Like they don't even know yeah. you. I'm just the bikers like, will give you the peace sign, exactly, or wave or exactly, the or something yeah. just Ex to thank you. Showing appreciation, yeah. and I know they appreciate that. You know what I mean? So that's. That's pretty dope. So what are you doing in the next couple of weeks? What's your, what's your uh, I'm actually, I'm a musician too. I'm a bass player. Sick. Ain't much of a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll leave that to the professionals. Here. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're headed down to Brazil on Friday to do Monsters of Rock. Um, oh, nice. With uh, Aerosmith, Whitesnake, Dawkin, my band, and uh, Buck crazy. Cherry, a couple other bands. You know, probably, may, it might not be your kind of music, but uh, it's some good music. And... Uh, we're blessed to be doing that. We're going to no, be down in South Paulo on Sunday to Rock and Roll Monsters of Rock in that's South Paulo, Brazil. So do y'all yeah. drink y'all uh, pit bulls? Yeah, man. <laughs> you got to take a pit bull? Absolutely. Uh, I have a question. How has the show affected um, your career as an artist? Oh, it's been good, man, for uh, visibility for me. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of great music on our show, too. Yeah. Um, Kurt's our, our uh, creator and... Uh, and main man uh, brings in a lot of artists, uh, great, great artists. And we have these musical montages, which are really a big part of the show. 
That's cold, man. You got to be yeah. living a dream right now. Oh, it's good, it's, man. You see, it, what's cold about it is because, like, I grew up in Cincinnati. I danced all my life. Then I came and got on a TV show about dance. Like, right on, that's right living the dream. You know what I mean? Indiana, man. I'm right next that's to That's what's up. We, yeah. Hey, we used to, we, me, I, I used to take Carmen Electra, you know. Oh, really? At, at one time, yeah. <laughs> She's from Ohio, but. I bet you got stories. Hey. After the show. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the later. <laughs> hey, but check it out. Check it out. But we, I used to um, clean carpets with her mother because her mother owned a carpet cleaning yeah. um, business. And we we was in Indiana all the time, you know. Wow. And I remember the thing that make me that make Indiana stand out. They were um, this was back. This was a while ago. New Kids on the Block was the was the big group. Really? And wow. I remember I would go into these houses to clean, and I used to be like, one day my posters are going to be up on That's the wall. Right. I used to feel like that, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah, but man. that was yeah. the biggest inspiration. But Indiana, they loved New Kids on the Block. Every house we went to was always big old houses and just kids rooms, just full of posters and. But yeah, Indiana's oh, nice. Yeah. Well, you know, it all starts with a dream, man. Just like of you course. said, you know, we all started in the mirror, yeah. you know, playing air guitar or dancing or whatever. Yeah. Like one day it's going to be like that. And uh, my, my story about Cincinnati isn't quite that cool. But, uh, <laughs> we, we used to drive over there when we were in high school because you could drink 3-2 beer. And that's how old I am. Wait, three, uh, what, what is 3-2 beer? Well, 3-2 beer you could drink when you were 18. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they wouldn't card you. So, you know, I, that's how old I am. Cincinnati, bro. So we would drive over and drink uh, Little it. King's 3-2 beer. Wow. And they used to have, like, the Cincinnati Reds on the cans and yeah. stuff. But uh, that was that's cool, you know. But it, it'd take, like, uh, 40 of them to get a buzz, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> they, that's why they let y'all get them. Like, they, right. that, they think they're getting buzz, but right. really right. they're Kool-Aid. Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. man. Well, um, I know you got things to do. I appreciate you coming through. Thanks for having me. I love me, it, man. man. I appreciate you. Man. Sean McNabb, right I appreciate you, son, right. Sons of Anarchy. God What's the time in the day again? Uh, Tuesday nights at ten o'clock on FX. Beautiful. If you like, if you're watching the show, keep watching. If you haven't, please check it out because I definitely will. All appreciate right. your time. Right on, Shane. Yep. All right, cool, man. Yep. I'll see you later. Yeah. Sean, I'm going to a commercial great, break great, real great, quick. Man. Great brother. Great. Planet Dance. We'll be back. Shane Sparks, yo, and I got my boy Willie G in the Willie. building. Will, 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 will. Still in that. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll be back. Uh, one eight count. Peace. A fine watch does more than tell time. It makes a statement. Havana watches. Fine watches exclusively for you. Sophisticated Havana dress watches. Men's and women's styles. Your elegant timepiece. Sporty Havana casual watches. Trendy styles in hip colors. Your go everywhere watch. Your Havana watch is backed by our top to bottom one year warranty. Visit HavanaWatches.com. Havana Watches. Fine watches exclusively for you. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Shane, playing the dance in the building. We are back. RMC, easy way, doing it like we do it. Got my boy Willie G in the building. We got a lot of things to talk about. Trying to give, <laughs> trying to give the kids something new to watch on TV on Saturday mornings. No. I'm tired. I'm tired. No, I used to wake up in the morning. I tell you this. I used to wake up in the morning. I'm still like this. Saturday morning. I give me a bowl of cereal. Yep, yep. Have on my PJs. I go sit in the living room mm -hmm. and I would watch cartoons from eight o'clock until like twelve or one o'clock, depending on what what, what was on. Okay, that's right, that's that was right. the best part of my week when I was a little kid. Best that I'm not gonna say it's weekend. gone, but I just don't think it's quality TV. It ain't the same. And we want to bring back quality TV because right. at the end of the day, the youth. They're the future, mm -hmm. and if we feed them right, they're going to feed us right. Hello. You feel me? Indeed. Yeah, I just said that. I just made that up. <laughs> so, if you don't know who Willie G is, woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo, woo. Yo, check it out. You will know, and this is a special guy. He's been working hard to accomplish something that a lot of people haven't done. And I'm glad to have him on my show today. Man. Willie G. Shane Sparks. Oh! Let's do it. It's time to spark it up, I used to tease this kid. I ain't saying turn it up. It's spark it up. Spark it up. Get up, baby. Time to spark it up. That's what's up. Willie G used to take my class back in the day. He was like four feet. I was taller than him. It's true, though. I was taller than him. God. That was so funny. Everybody out grew me. But it's all good. So tell me. He was actually taller than me, and he was still the same height as Papa as Papa. A Smurf, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh God! He, like God bless me with everything. Yeah, but, but height. height. <laughs> 
I don't know what's. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not. I'm not mad. I love my height. I right, love right, because, right, you know, right, right. I, I literally Pine get size. everything that I want. True. You know, except for Magic Mountain, he can't get on no dude, rides. Dude, it's loud. <laughs> hey, no, listen, dude. We was at Halloween Horror Nights last yeah. night. I mean, uh, um, uh, Saturday night. Right, right, right. Funnest time I've had in years. If you haven't been on Transformer, please get on it. Yeah. But I couldn't get on none of the rides. <laughs> I'm playing, 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 but I just, on that note, I just want to throw no, this out there, man, if man. you haven't been to Halloween Horror Nights, you got to, got to, got to go, now Universal, Transform, right, Universal, Universal okay, C- and okay. City Walk, yeah. they got the Transformer Walk ride, dude, okay, first, I'm yeah. with the Ochoa boys, okay? okay, and Robert, this is the dad, he was like, yeah. Shane, you need to ride this ride, I was like, oh, okay, I'll get on it, you know, I see That's the preview, that's a 4D, 3D thing, right, oh okay. my god, you don't yeah. understand, it's so we go in there, we wait in this first two hour wait, okay, I was like, this ride better be good, so we get up in there, we we pull up, um, okay, we pull up, and we get finally get there. He says, Shane, trust me, this is going to be your favorite ride. I was like, all right. Mm. They gave me 3D glasses. I was like, oh, 3D glasses, dope. Put the glasses on. Sit in this little thing that looks like a car, like a simulator. And from the minute it took off to the minute it stopped, I swear to God, I thought I was in a real car going through real transformer wow. world, getting attacked wow. from the way it was shaking. You yeah. get heat that comes to your face. Certain Dang. things, it's 3D. So when it comes to your it's face, live. it's like heat. Yeah. You go through water, water sprinkles right on your face. face. Yeah. Dude, I was tripping. Uh, the scariest part was yeah. we went up on top of this building. It's like, how do we get out of here? It backed up, turned around, and went over the cliff and flew Whoa. straight down. And I swear to God, I closed my eyes because I was so scared. I literally <laughs> felt like I was, man, do me a favor. Ride <laughs> yeah. that ride if you haven't ridden it. It's a trip. And uh, I like to say shout out to the Ochoa boys and everybody that came Saturday because we had all the Disney kids, all the Nickelodeon kids. We yeah. had about 40 people Represent with us, man. It was Nick ridiculous. And Disney all the time. So, yeah, but I think we got a call on the phone. Let me see. Uh, oh, we do. Call, we call, call, okay. They hung, it, uh, they hung up? Oh, they hung up. People are I'm impatient. Saying, God. You know That's all good though it couldn't have been that important <laughs> exactly so I'm take my head i'm gonna keep my headphones <laughs> off okay because i'm sparking it up exactly spark it up that's a slogan of the day exactly get it slogan of the day so tell Hashtag. me what you're trying to do tell Man, me tell me what sparks. makes your show different than everybody else tell me what makes your idea different from what everybody else has done well i'm glad you asked that train um <clears throat> here's the deal we've been blessed with a great incredible opportunity to create what's called the g block Urban entertainment, the hottest destination for entertainment, fashion, trend, music, arts, entertainment, edutainment, educational, informational, all that good jazz, all under one roof. Okay. So now we remember the banners of the Fox Kids, which is Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all that cool stuff like that. Well, you know, the kids have evolved these days, and they watch a lot more live action situation comedy. Right, right. You know, you got the Victorias, the Dazzle Ravens, those type of shows, etc. So what if we get a chance to combine the best of both worlds? Mm -hmm. Animation, live comedy, and also variety show style. Mm -hmm. And we put it all together into a uh, jam-packed little package we call the G Block. And so oh. that's what we got going on. It's going to take off like hot butter popcorn. So now here's the deal. We've been working at this thing for a l- little bit of time. You know what I'm saying? Right, Make right. this thing work. Everything that works, you know what everything saying? that's good takes yeah, time. Trust takes me. time. It takes time to build. You know, it takes time to, to build. It is what it is. So now we're going to launch a Kickstarter campaign. Exactly. We saw Spike Lee got success. Mm-hmm. Raised $1.5 million. Veronica Mars did it. The guy from Scrubs, he did it as well. Wow. And was like, okay, cool. This might be a little platform. We can reach out to our fans right, directly. Right, right, right. And say, yo. Help, help us pledge the situation to make the dream come true. You know what I mean? So that's what it's all about. So we're going to do a whole Kickstarter campaign to kick off the G Block, you know, and get the chance to get all the pledges mm-hmm. uh, to come in. Got some really cool rewards. My man, Robert Richard, maybe some of the hot ladies out there or men. <laughs> one can win a date with well not win a date actually pledge enough money to go ahead and get hooked up with Robert Richard hello so wait a minute so 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 they get, so 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 I, let me get this the winner wins a date with Robert yeah really yeah yeah now now mind you now mind you it, it, everybody can get a chance to participate right definitely. so how the Kickstarter campaign works it's all all or nothing so basically what it means is if we don't reach our funding goal by the time we set all the money that's pledged goes back to the pledges. Wow. So you don't get a dime. You don't wow. get nothing. That's, that's so crazy. So it's all in. So that's our that's our whole campaign. That's our whole motto is hashtag I'm all in. Hashtag I'm all in with the G Block. And that's what it's all about. So and, uh, go to gblocktv.com, bigwillag.com, and, uh, and hashtag I'm all in. And it'll take you right to our Kickstarter page, which will showcase to you, which you know, we're looking to, you know, to uh, expand and explore. And it's going to showcase all the different people that's a part of the project, but most importantly, the G Block as a whole itself. Is but, my video yeah. on there? No, no. No, of course it is. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn. Okay. Yeah. Can we play it? Do, do we? Do we? Do we? Do we have? Do we even have it? On, see, you know, that's black people for you. We ain't, ain't, ain't prepared. No, uh, but I said I sent him something. But you I have a video. You I, think it, I, think video? It, I think he might what? have yours though. Okay, um, cool. What? I have a Kickstarter video. You have a Kickstarter yeah, 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 video? Yeah. You know which one it is? No, I, th I think it's yours. Uh, it's uh, yours. That, it might be too long. It's like four minutes long. Oh yeah, yours is yeah, long. long. Hello. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll we'll be right back and hope. Do we? Do you have that, uh, Mr. Cameraman? No. You know, uh, 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 Chase works with you. It's on YouTube. Oh well, can we, we, we might can, we might be able to pull it up. On okay, YouTube. we go to commercial break. We pull it up on YouTube and see if commercial we can show break. mine because it was kind of we'll take a pit bull energy drink. Cold. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, yo, your thing was hot. Yours I like it. I know. Yo, I'm like I'm kind of jealous. Willie, nothing's you know better than yours. Dude. Come Lord. on, come on. I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand. Jeez, that. Jesus, Jesus, fine. I don't I'm get excited. it. Yo, so um. I'm excited about this because, like I said, it was the best part of my week on Saturdays when you know yeah. when we had my favorite shows. So I'm I'm hoping people listen, pay attention, and yeah. understand what we're trying to do because it's exactly. so funny when it's negative. People always trying to support it and they be behind it and they they do all kind of they, stuff. And then they, when their kids turn out it. crazy Hold or on. kids turn out funny Come or when on. things go wrong, then they want to blame everybody. Yeah. Why don't you invest in something that's going to help you? Yeah. Invest in something that's going to change the game. True that. You know, and that's that's all we're trying to do. You that's know, it, and that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's I mean, do it. teamwork makes a dream work. And most important thing is one of the things we push is entertainment, education, motivation. But most most important thing is what you do today is your history tomorrow. Exactly. What type of legacy you're trying to leave for other people to remember you buy exactly. because technically one person can change the world mm -hmm. we've seen it in history time and time again Martin Luther King Mahatma Gandhi JFK all the above one person one one idea Tupac hello Tupac <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> represent thug life baby thug life <laughs> Tell it, home, okay, Eric it Zuli <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy way I mean literally just one thought can literally, if you put your mind to it, but not, not your mind, your, your well-being, every fiber in it. That's why we say all in. If you put everything up all in, like all the chips is on the table, we stop everything, carte blanche, to make this come to a reality. So we know it's going to go. You know, well, what whatever we for can sure, do, because sure. you definitely hooked in with a lot of powerful people right now. And yeah. I know once Easy gets involved, I get involved. I've Absolutely. already got involved. We definitely got a lot of avenues to help. So all we need to do is get the word out. Once That's the it. word is out That's there, it. man, and they That's understand it. what we're trying to do, yeah. because the kids or the future, man. Yes. If you feed them right, it's gonna be good. So I, I hope one of people understand that, and we just gotta keep pushing, keep pushing, keep, keep pushing, pushing, keep Because we literally could change it. Come on. I want Saturday mornings. I want kids to be like, oh my Inspired. god, I just had the best weekend of my life because I watched this, I watched this. I remember, Shh, excuse on. me, I remember yeah, I used to wake up and I couldn't wait till Monday. Man, Monday at school. <clears throat> no, listen, Monday listen, at school. I'm listening, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I would go in school and I'd be like, did you see that? Da, 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 da? Did you see that? Da, da, da? Yeah. You know what I mean? We'd be talking about yeah. it, you know, like the, the our favorite show. So I think we got a call on the line. Hopefully oh, they want to okay, talk cool. about let's, Willie let's G. See. But if they don't, we What had now? What had Yo, what's up, shit boy? Shane Sparks playing the dance. Who could this be? Hey, boo, you know it's me. <laughs> what had <laughs> now? What had What's up? What's good? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm here doing what I love to do, and we're talking about things that's going to change the world. So tell me this. Tell me. I got a question for you. Oh, if you could do anything yeah. in this world right now to change it, what would it be? Mm. Mm, I will be there in the studio with you right now. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Hello. Yes. And tell me, tell me this. Serious. How could that change the world? <laughs> <laughs> it would change my world. Oh, she said. <laughs> I ain't concerned about everybody else. Yeah. I'm just talking about me. Yeah. Okay, so you right. Okay, now since you've been calling my show since I started this, I don't know what you look like or who you are. I mean, Is there Instagram, any way you can send a picture? <laughs> can you send a picture hey, to me? What? what? I have sent you no. a um, liar, liar. Thingy, thingy so many times. You keep saying that, but I have not seen anything. We ain't seen nothing. Huh? You don't take fans that Oh, so are you sending it to my fans page? To your fan page? My fan you page? Have a personal page? Oh, uh, oh whoa. Uh, you, you yeah, talk, you got to talk oh. about this off the air. <laughs> but send it, to, send, send it, to, send it to my fan page though, because I um, that's the one that I check the most. That's the one I'm on the most. So if you uh -huh. can do that, Shane Sparks. Sparks five six seven eight. Sparks five six seven eight. Sparks five six seven eight. Send it to that. Send me a picture or something because I don't know who you are. I mean, I talk to you. You have such a great voice. But well, you know, know you it are. might change. It might be better that you don't see her because oh. of the, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Willie G. He you might get some You might get some mystery about you. the situation. Here. He's so funny. You might get disappointed. You know? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Usually, if the voice is nice, usually the face is nice. So oh, I don't know. You know, she's oh, got man. a cute voice and her attitude is really sweet. And she, that's a blessing. She's that's loyal. Blessing. She seems like a loyal person. She sounds like a sweet. Girl. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, now. Hey, oh, all right. So send it to my fan page or send me something to my Twitter, you know, Sparks5678 or, <laughs> uh, or my Instagram, Sparks5678. 
Come on. <laughs> Michael Jackson's in the building. Okay, my bad. Okay. <laughs> Michael Jackson's in the building? All right. All right. Well, Elvis is about to leave. Yeah, he's stupid. Uh, all right. Send me something. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. But thanks for calling in. I always love that. Okay? Okay. Love you more. All right. Talk to you later. Oh, so sweet. Peace, yo, it's your boy Shane Sparks, put a dance. Willie G is in the building. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sean McNabb was here in the earliest Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Check out the show. Uh, I want to talk about the something next real Breaking quick. Bad. Yeah, the next Breaking Bad. That mm-hmm. was a dope show, too. Man. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, make sure you pay attention because Miami, mm. Fort Lauderdale, mm. October 25th, mm. the Get Turned Up Tour. Mm. Shane Sparks presents. Mm. It's going to be the sickest thing you ever want to get. We got the dolls. We got your boy Ooh. Aaron Ray. We got Alana. Uh, we got Alana um, Gordillo. And we got three, two of the girls from the actual movie, American Girl, that's going to actually be coming in with her. Wow. So people are hearing about this tour and people yeah. are trying to represent because they know how nice it's going to be. It's going to be live. Kaboom. Club Kaboom. Make sure you check that out. If you don't know anything about it, go to my Facebook. Go to my Twitter, Sparks5678. Right. Go to my Instagram, Sparks5678. Check it out. Check me out. Hit me up. Make sure you're there. I got people calling me from Miami all the time saying, what's going on? I want to go. Tickets are $25, $10 off if you're in school. That's like that's like Holly junior high Miami. school, though. You know? Come on now. So make sure y'all come and y'all represent, because it's going to be fun. We're bringing y'all entertainment. We're bringing y'all fun. We're bringing y'all a $1,000 costume contest. Ooh, $1,000. I'm going to have grown right people there. I'm going to have, right have grown now. people in I'm there dressed up. I'm Come like, on, uh, pledge right now. Uh, pledge lady, your money, right? Lady, lady, you too old to be in this contest. <laughs> I'm only 42. Heck no. no. too old. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what Cougars. I'm saying. So, but make sure make sure you come and check out the show and be there. And um, if you if you're in Vegas, if you're in Vegas, Vegas. the next day, October 26th. This is how hard I'm working right Dang. now. Beverly Hills Calendar Girls. We held Ooh. auditions about a week ago, and we got 12 of the hottest females in the world. I'm just 12. World, that's but, it. And we, yeah, because it's a calendar. So oh, so does it? Okay, so okay. okay. So we're gonna be in Vegas doing a show at the Palms Hotel at. Club Rain, and it's the first, it's the first fashion type show with okay. with girls that they actually are dancers. So, so the audition dancers slash models, exactly like real dancers For slash real. models. That's what's sick about so it. Is it stripper? Because I mean it's Vegas, so I'm just gotta. Ask. Oh my gotta god, ask. did ask. you just say that? Just gotta ask. Is there, is there a pole? No. Is there a pole? This is clean. Okay, There's good. no pole. Okay, good. That's There's good. no pole. God is good. This is this is this is a high class. Check this out. Okay. I wanted to. I always watch fashion shows. When I go to the fashion show, yeah. I always wonder why girls that are modeling walk off beat. And so I'm just why like, is that? I'm just like, how come you can't get girls that look good that have rhythm? Even the black girls do that too. Yeah, some of them. Not all of them, but some yeah. of them. Okay, so okay, I was okay, like, okay. why don't we put a show together that has girls that are actually dancers? Because most uh, dancers, 90% of them are really hot. Yeah, hot true. bodies, Woo. look look bomb, and they know how to control their bodies. Scrum you know what I mean? Delicious. So check Indeed. it out. So imagine you got this show with these mm-hmm. girls walking down to this beat. Boom, boom, boom. Four on the floor. Oh, my God. Something just happened. <laughs> this just went off. But yeah, four on the floor doing their thing. And then all of a sudden, yeah. a dance number comes out. And they're dancing like... Real dancers. We got dancers that dance with Lil Wayne, Whoa. Justin Bieber, Whoa. Um, um, Nicki Minaj, Whoa. Chris Brown. We Whoa. got those dancers that came out. Oh, so they're the real dancers. No, they're real dancers, but they're okay. hot. They're okay. hot. So. And they look good at the same time. They hot. When you I say they hot, they hot. Okay? okay. So if you don't know anything about it, check it out. Go to calendar BeverlyHillsCalendarGirls.com. You can see Beverly some of the girls Hills on there. Calendar. But if you're around Vegas, October 26th, make sure you come to the Palm. October 26th. So why they the called Rain the Palms? Hotel. The hotel is called the Palms. Oh, okay, okay. The Palms okay, okay. Hotel. Gotcha, gotcha. When was the last time you've been to Vegas, my nigga? Man, you know what? What happened was... <laughs> I see. That's what's up. <laughs> but check it out. All right, so I just want to put that out there because you need to be there. And if you're Definitely. around... and we, we got So ex- Miami uh, and Palms Hotel, right? Yes. I cut you off. I'm sorry. That's all good, though. I appreciate you, though. I appreciate you being here. This is so love. This is check love. that out. So um, right now, I just want to give you the opportunity to say anything that you want to say as far as like you know the pledges and yeah. you know all that good stuff that you want to get out because I want everybody to understand what you're trying to do. I know we already said some stuff, but is there if there's anything else you want to say, let them know so we can um, make sure we cover everything because I don't want you to get home tonight and be like, I forgot to give them the number. Man, well, <laughs> I forgot to give them the website. Since Shane is clearly saying I gotta go because no, 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 I, no, I, I, you I cut them off. Hey, I'll nigga, you here till twelve. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you here till two. <laughs> That's I'm the, keep, the polite keep, black way I'm of saying you the hell off my show. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, <laughs> Willie has brought foul language to my show. I Anybody that's listening, it's not me. I apologize. Yes, that's right. I'm, I'm working with my demons. We're working with the, the kids. Re- come on, Absolutely. dude. We, 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 we all about the kids. All about the kids. All about mm-hmm. the kids. Okay, take two. Take three, four, five, and five. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Look, 
we're very excited. The G Block is all about having a great opportunity to entertain, educate, and motivate America's youth. And most importantly, we're asking you guys to help us out to make our dreams come true so we can entertain just for you. That's right, you, 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 and your best friends sitting next to you. So check out. This is a great opportunity to really bring some incredible, unique, brilliant. innovative, brilliant. That's a brilliant. Bru- I don't know what you said. I, I don't know like what I, I Well, I mean, dang, dog. You know, that's not the bubble. Is. <laughs> but it's probably true, though. But, but look, we need your help. We really seriously need your help. Pledge, donate, support. Do whatever you can to help us out. Blog about it. Support us. Um, you know, go to hashtag I'm all in. And most importantly, talk about how you're all in in your everyday life of living out your dreams and goals. Because, and, okay. Yeah. This is another thing, too. Mm-hmm. What made you want to do this? What happened in your youth, young career that yeah. made you say, I got to change this? Wow. Okay. The reason why I'm still big right now, I'm having said because of the... I. Uh, once I left Nickelodeon Disney, I had an opportunity to, I was contracted, signed my first million dollar contract to play, um, to play uh, Fat Albert. And so, we do, we want to take the, do we need to take a call first or we'll, we'll go before? Actually, we'll take a call real okay, quick because cool. I think somebody uh, wants to ask you a question. Fair enough. That would be dope. Tim, or maybe they want to ask me a question. Maybe so. Yo, this, your, this is Shane Sparks playing at dance. Who could this be? Hello? Hi, hi, Shane. Hi, who is this? Oh, this is Ernestine. How are you? Oh, <laughs> Mama G. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it a little. I love it a lot. I love it like a little big old sweet pork chop. Hello. <laughs> you can tell that's his mama. Boy, she... <laughs> that's where you get that energy from. Right, right, <laughs> that's where you get that energy right. from. <laughs> Hey, hey, okay, turn the radio off in the back. I, know, right? <laughs> I can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> okay, Mama. Mama, you got, you got to turn the radio down. Turn the radio down okay. so we can hear you. Okay, can you hear now? Yeah, hear yeah there now. you go. All right. And we're back. Take two. <laughs> hey, so so what, what's on your mind today, Mama G? I'm just excited about what God has blessed blessed him with and blessed you guys with. I love seeing you, and I love what you guys are doing. And the deep block is, is uh, something phenomenal. It's the first time. And, uh, you're, you're breaking six, up. Six, breaking up. We don't have a rise, y'all. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, you, you got me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. We got T-Mobile. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, great. Well, I just it's the first time in history for the deep block for uh, after. American for him to be the youngest kid. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. It's a phenomenal opportunity, and just to let everybody know out there in the world to uh, tune in because um, uh, Han Saban did it with the Power Rangers. Now, Willie G and Shane Sparks and Robert Richard gets the opportunity mm-hmm. to produce all these shows on, ne- on the primetime network television. I'm excited to see these young men take off, and I'm just proud of you, Shane, with what you're doing. And Willie G, I'm I'm proud of you too, and and your crew, and your young crew, and your producers, and you know we got Emmy Award winning uh, producer Eric Van Lowe, uh producing this, and I'm just excited. Um, I'm looking for this to come to fruition. Congratulations, guys! Thank you very much. Absolutely, thank you, Mom. Appreciate the shout out. Appreciate appreciate the support. Good looking out. You're welcome. You're uh, welcome. Mm-hmm. Shane, spark it up. <laughs> we, hey, we trying to it. do it. We trying to do it, man. This is this is the future sitting here right now. One day we go be like, remember when you used to do my radio show and yeah. da, 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 we was talking about this. Now it's like three years later and it's Love the biggest it. show, biggest biggest day of the week. You know what I mean? Boom, wow. Kaboom. Literally kaboom. Kaboom. You know? Literally kaboom. Yeah. So, um, so we're taking over and it's, and it's really really exciting. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm just blessed to be a part of it, and I'm just blessed to see you guys taking off. So whatever support I can support you guys in doing your endeavors, I will be there in, in 200%. Thank you very Appreciate much, you. and thank you for calling in today. Yeah. We love it. Love okay. It. I'm love, love you guys. Yeah, love you love much. Love you, too. Have a good day. Okay, you do the same. Yo, it's your boy Shane Sparks, Planet Dance. Before I go on, I want to give a quick shout-out to my boy St. Tone for doing my logo. He took... He told me, he said, Shane, I, I, I put all these logos together, and at the last minute, I thought, what would represent Shane Sparks? Mm. 
He took my hat and my glasses, put it together, and came up with something so cold. I didn't even look at the other ones. As soon as I saw that, I was like, that's, that's it, it right there. And isn't it funny? It's always exactly. the last idea yeah. that that, yeah. that makes the record, yeah. that yeah. makes the album. Yeah. You know what I mean? He did that for me. It's really dope. So if you when you start seeing that logo, just know that it represents Shane Sparks. That's done by my boy St. Tone. So I just want to shout him out. And good job the other day at the rehearsal. Um, I I woke up those bones, woke up those mm. old bones, had him stepping and sliding and mm. quick stepping and all that great stuff. So it was dope. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to St. Tone. Talk to you later, my dude. Peace. Uh, shout out to my boy Easy. Yeah, always doing his thing. I hate when people call in on my show, like, you know, while I'm using my phone, you know. Um, <laughs> shout out to RMC. Roscoe's. Yo, check this out. Uh, we went to Roscoe's the other day. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I had my, my girl group. they never been to Roscoe's before. What? Woo! They crime. was in there. First of all, they was in there. They was like, mm, this food is good. And then you know how the TV is on, right? Right, so right. Like, all of a sudden, I heard, like, oh, my God. And they saw the whole um, Easy Way the thing Brock, play yeah, and yeah. saw me on TV. Yeah. They was like, this is crazy. We sit in the restaurant eating and you're all over it and stuff that's like right. that. That's right. I was like, that's how we do. You thought you was messing with a chump? Okay. We're doing it the easy yeah. way. Hello. And just because I'm not on e um, So You Think You Could Dance and America's Best Dance Crew don't mean I'm not a G no more. Whoa, stop you know it, stop I mean? it, stop it. Hold on, time out, time out. Flag on the play, flag on the play. <laughs> Man, you have earned your G card way even before all of that. Yes, sir, yes, Let sir. Let me make sure everybody know what's about to put down. When I was uh, knee high to a horse fly, Shane Sparks was doing it up and sparking it up all over the world, sparking imaginations and dance videos a whole nine yards. You had the official first dance video. As far as I'm concerned, people got a chance to buy it from before Millennium was Millennium, before it was, it was called Moral Landis, when we was on Ventura Boulevard. I'm going to take it way back like Similac back then, you know what I'm saying? Get I mean, it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You have literally helped create and usher an entire generation of dancers, so everything you see right now is a spawn of you. I mean, literally just pop that... Pop the pop off, I, I, you know what I'm saying? So you saying without that. a shadow of a doubt, we, and we, we just owe our hat and tip our hat to you, man. You and I, I'm, I'm a true. Uh -huh. I have to say something. Yeah, please come on, oh, come on in. Okay. He, he's Easy said he want to say something real the quick. The CEO is now stepping to the building. <laughs> CEO is back on track. What's up? easy? What up? Well, I was just at the World Dance Awards. Yeah. Um, you want that mic? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I just have to you know add on to what you're saying. Big Will J. Hey. <laughs> All right, so um, Chris, there's major major celebrity choreographer. His name's Chris something. You you I know you know him. Chris Ross. Chris Chris. What does he look like? Is he black or white? White. Uh yeah, he's on So You Think You Dance. Yeah. Chris, no, I know. So You Think You Dance and Step Step. Yeah, Chris. Uh, uh, I know you're talking about. He used to take my class. Chris. Chris I know man, I can't remember. I, can't, I have a picture Chris, of him. I'll Chris, show you who I'm know, talking about. I know about. exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> but anyway, um, he's he's ridiculous. I was with him and he's like, he he won he won the award and he, yeah. the major major dude. And I have an interview. You guys will be able to watch this interview when we when we put mm -hmm. it out. And he said you're one of the reasons you started him. Mm -hmm. Wow. You were I, the one that gave him. I'm, his let, let me tell you something about wow. Chris. Chris came into my class when the, the, the when the dome was still out at yeah. the Millennium, okay. and I remember he did this one trick that I had never seen before, and it changed my perspective of him as a dancer from wow. that day on. And um, I always realize I always recognize special people. I might yeah. not ever say nothing, but I always yeah, that's Chris. Yeah. I, I, and, and I might not say nothing, but I know what's up. Yeah. He came in a circle. I had little Johnny. Erisman, oh, er, 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 how you say his name? Yeah. Um, I had all those dancers in there in my class. They used to, if I could show y'all classes, man, y'all be like, oh my gosh, Shane, you used to teach the best. Yeah. But Chris That's came nice. in there and freestyled. Mm. Oh, he's sick. And, re, mm. and he did this stuff with his hat. And he, Chris Scott. That's Chris Scott, yeah, Chris yeah. Scott. And yeah. he made his hat float up off of his head. Ooh. The crowd fell to the floor, and I was like, Ooh. what the heck did I just see? And then he showed me the trick. I was like, how the heck yeah. do you come up with something like that? <laughs> Not saying that he created that, but he was yeah, the first person I saw do it. Yeah. And I was like, that's, you know, so whenever I see Chris, it's love because he knows that when I was doing what I was doing, I could have easily been uh, arrogant crackhead yeah, but I talk. took him in and, and and respected him as a dancer even though when he was nobody and now he's on a show he totally deserves it and yeah. to be honest with you he's one of the only people that do hip hop on that show that still impresses me wow 100% wow. I watched that show and wow. I'm watching he did one number that was so cold to me I was just like oh my god yeah. I gotta go back to the drawing board I, and, 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 I, and, and, I and also to that. expand upon who you are I mean I, w I walked the carpet I did everything at the dance awards and I was telling people I'm the owner of Easy Way TV partnership yeah. with Roscoe's and everything and, mm -hmm. and 
And I mentioned that you have a show, Planet Dance, and all the dance. There's a lot of dance press there. And yeah. they're, they're, they're like, wait, did you say Shane Sparks? They all wanted to interview me because they wanted to hear about oh, Shane, Shane Sparks. Sparks' new show, mm -hmm. Planet Dance, on Easy Way TV every Monday, one o'clock. So I saw the buzz. Mm -hmm. We've gone, we've gone around Hollywood, and Man. when they hear the name, just the name Shane mm -hmm. Sparks, they're looking around Sparks. and they right. see you. And no. when we're at Roscoe's, they're like, wait yeah. a second, weren't you? Yeah. There? Da, 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 da. Right. You still got now, your flavor. Now, e, when I when we go to the red carpet, man, it's it, it shocks me because you know I I still stopped going for a long time. Mm. And if it wasn't for you pushing me like go here, go here, go here, I probably would still not be going because I wow. still I'm still a little insecure. No, fair enough, but fair when enough. I go, literally I can't get off the carpet. Wow. And e, you there. Yeah. Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Yeah. I can't even get off the carpet. Yeah. And it makes me feel good, but I'm still a little insecure, so I still can't accept it 100% We yet. were just at but the Multicultural crazy. Motion Picture Association official pre-Emmy. Mm -hmm. event. Yeah. And it actually had the Emmy emblem. And it actually yeah. had the Emmys on the red carpet. So that, you know, you know yeah, it's official. Mm -hmm. And Claudia Jordan was the one getting yeah. on it. And I felt bad because Claudia Jordan was getting her spotlight taken away a little bit because Shane Sparks was on that carpet. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. And, and I've been out the game for a minute. But, um, well, hey, we but just, that just reminds you of the truth. Because exactly. When you get a chance to be you, no matter what you are, no matter what the challenges and obstacles are going to face you, I mean, look, following your dream, guys, nobody says it's going to be easy. You know exactly. We've we all been through some type of challenge, mm -hmm. personal challenge, all of the above, attack of character, the whole nine yards to bring it down to the core. And when you get a chance to be that, that's what defines uh, mm -hmm. hashtag truth. And, and check this and out. Just so everybody know, this is like probably going to be the first time I really mentioned it on the show, but we talked about it a little bit. I talked with you, Easy, about So You Think You Could Dance. But I'm officially going to be on the, the new season in Ukraine. And I, yeah. leave, I leave on the 20th. Actually, this hit me today. It said I leave on the 19th now because they wow. want to start rehearsals early. But I will be officially doing So You Think You Could Dance in Ukraine. You know what I mean? How sick that is, is that? You know? So and you need a, to learn a different language now? Or no, they, they have they given me an assistant. And I know oh, a little okay. bit because, you know, yeah. Diana's a That's you know, fun. I did, that, I did my Axe commercial and I I don't speak Spanish at all, but yeah, I have the hottest assistant following me around. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. So crazy, that. so crazy, Enjoy that club. so crazy. So, so, so th that's what's up. You know what I mean. So, I'm really excited about that. And um, the most exciting thing I'm aware, I'm tripping on right now is the real dancers of North Hollywood. Mm. Uh, that is going to be so which ridiculous. Cast this Friday, by the yes, way. Yes, we're casting this Friday, to. and we'll be we'll be tweeting about it the exact time and location. But we're looking for characters to play. We're looking for real dancers. We're not looking for actor dancers. I mean, actors. We're looking for yeah. you. Can, hopefully, you can act, but we're looking for real dancers that have real stories because we want people to know who you are when you walk into the scene of my show. So when they see you doing what you do, they know, oh, that's blah, blah, blah. Yep. He's a real dancer. I need to watch this and see what's going on. So it's me, and I don't want to name all the characters yet because we're still casting, but it's going to yeah. be some dope people on this show. And basically, we just taking the dance world and clowning. But being serious. You're looking for those butter faces. I'm not gonna oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not going to give too much away. <laughs> but... <laughs> Dude, just, just know this. The first episode is called Blinded by the Booty. Mm, hello. Did y'all hear that? Blinded by the Booty. So you know it's going to be sick. So and he imagine... was talking about me earlier. Okay. Now, you know if Melina was oh here, she'd be like, it's Heine, not Booty. Heine. <laughs> <laughs> Who calls a booty to Heine? She must be from somewhere else. But yeah, so yo, so just know that I, I would never be stopped. I know that I'm blessed. I know that I'm gifted. And knowing that is what kept me strong and kept me pushing and moving. And there's a lot of people out there that still support me. So I cannot let them down and I can't let myself down. So we're moving. And if you don't know, Easy Way TV, Easy Way Radio, Easy Way Magazine, the um the, the app. application the, yeah the app the easy way movement period the whole movement is gonna be crazy so we got TV movie music we got everything coming out so oh, you know wow. just, just just be aware we are not stopping this is just the beginning you you think Saban was big when he did all that Power Ranger stuff we taking over you think Channel um you think um UPN you think yeah. HBO you think yeah. all those stations mm -hmm. they're good I love them yeah. but there's a new sheriff in town. Hello. <laughs> We're going to do it the easy way. Yes, sir. Get uh, it. Here's another little announcement um, <laughs> that I, I will. I announced it before, but I don't think people were paying attention. Now I'm going to like look really close to the camera. Listen to me when I sit there. <laughs> um, Black Premier Television, which has 66 sister television channels, and they're based out of Texas. Huge satellite. Huge building, mm -hmm. right up to uh, I think they said the Chase or the Citibank building. Big yeah, deal. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm finding out this is a big deal, mm -hmm. and we've pretty much locked in our situation with with that to start putting stuff out on their programming, and and my show's locked in. They're they're already airing it from what I'm hearing, like right. sizzles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of the programming, the stuff that the Easy Way is associated with, that's mm -hmm. one of the networks, and we're, yeah. we're we're working on six more. That's what's up, so, man. RMC is the best though. RMC, yeah. Yep. Pitbull Energy Drink. Yep. 
Roscoe's Media Center, get it. <laughs> and if you like Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, you better go get you some right now. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. We, had the, we had the one on Pico. <laughs> get it, get it. You got to say which street, which one you on, because before I moved out here, when I first moved out here, I never knew about the Pico one. So when people would what? say, the one in Hollywood, the one in, uh, this is considered West, yeah, this, this, like, this is, well, this is like, West L.A.? Yeah, West. This is the what? hood, to the, from the hood to the hills. Yeah. Hood to the hills, okay. And I was like, no, it's on Gower. They said, no, it's not. I've never been to the one on Gower. So depending yeah. on who you're talking to, determines which one you go to. go to. So yeah, we had the one on Pico, but the one on Gower is hot too. So make sure you yeah. visit them both. It's going to be the the um, most wonderful urban place in the world. Yeah, right by yeah. Disneyland in Anaheim. That's open. Oh, up. is that right? Yeah. That's right. That's what's up, man. See, it, it might sound crazy, but if you never had chicken and waffles, please experience it because I swear to God, I could not go without it for yeah. it. at one oh. time. Anytime somebody came into town or we wanted to go to dinner, to I bet they got sick of me because I was like, Roscoe's yeah. like, shame. Yeah. Dude, Roscoe's, we've been there a hundred times. Like, I don't yeah, care. Roscoe's used to be open <laughs> That's like, my spot. Time, you know That's what my so spot, yeah. And then it's open till like two in the yeah. morning. Come on, man. Before before I met, R- before I saw RMC and whatever, I used to, I was a fan of Roscoe's. Yeah. Oh, man, God. I loved the mm-hmm. chicken and the waffles. Yeah, yeah. yes, sir. I used to go to the one off Hollywood. Yeah, exactly. I, I waited an hour to try to get in to yeah. sit, at, sit at a table. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I mean, come on, you got president, and I keep reiterating this, but this is huge. President Obama drove to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles because he was hungry, and they shut down the streets for that. How crazy is Oprah that? Oprah orders Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Yeah, you know what I mean? The two most powerful African-American people in, in, in the world, the world yeah. uh, you know, gets Roscoe's. And, you know, Stevie <clears> Wonder, da, da, I go, go on and on. They even have little special VIPs. Areas yeah. in Roscoe, and they they they've made certain situations because it's so the food is bomb. Yeah, it's so good, man. And that now you get to watch cheese. TV and you get to listen to radio, and it's crazy. Those greens, <laughs> the hot sauce. What's your what's your what's chicken? Your, if you if you had to make your own dish, Shane, your own Roscoe's dish, what would it be? Um, Spar- it would be sparked and hot. It would be mine. Would be. Chicken covered in mushroom sauce, like mushroom. It's like um, this is this thing that I make all the time. You know what I mean? You basically get the chicken, and you put it in a plastic bag, mm-hmm. okay, and then you put carrots and all type of vegetables in it. You bake it for like maybe 35, 40 minutes. Let the let the all the juices marinate yeah. in there, yeah. and then you take a can of mushroom soup and like the the broth kind, the thick kind, like cream, and then you pour it inside it on top of the chicken, and then you let it bake together. I'm getting hungry. It's so tender and juicy. It's so tender and juicy. <laughs> I swear to God. I made it. On, I made it on a show before. They called me in to do a cooking show, and I made it. I literally could not even talk the whole time. Everybody was like, <laughs> <laughs> because we. It was so good. People was like forgetting to talk about the show because yeah. it was so good, man. Classic. So yeah, that's what I would make, and it would be called um, Sparta Chick. Sparta chick. Sparta chick. <laughs> Something mm. corny like that. Yeah. Hey. This, oh, yeah. this is, is Sparta, Sparta chick. Ah! <laughs> Everybody be in the kitchen with no shirt on, six packs, cooking. <laughs> well, I'll bring, I'll bring my keg. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you silly man. But yeah, so um, um, I, I, we talked about so You're much. Stuck today. in the Sparta chick. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> but um, Thanks, um Shane. Now we're home. there, there, there's a lot going on, man. And I just want everybody to understand. I want everybody to pay attention to what we're trying to do. Pay attention to the movement. And you know, Halloween is coming up. Have fun. Be careful. Be safe. And you know, watch out for the candy. Make sure you don't eat, any, eat anything that's not wrapped. Don't give out apples. Who gives out apples for Halloween? You ever got an apple for Halloween? Trick I, or treat? I don't like I'm it. trying to think I don't if like I razor have. blades. You know, like, <laughs> you 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 gave out an apple. What? Did you say you gave out an apple or you got an apple? No, a green apple about uh, forty years ago. Opened up the bag. There was and it was apple, green apple. Did you bite it? You know, was I, it? I think I gave it to somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what a way to go! <laughs> what a way to go! Um, I'm, I'm a t- yesterday I was with my girl group called Mystique. This is a, another group that I got from San Diego, and they drive down every now and then. Like I was telling with the Roscoe's, but um. It's so crazy, man, because one of the girls in my group is really, really shy. Mm-hmm. Really pretty girl, you know, San Diego. She's really shy. There you go, 619. Yeah, yeah, exactly. America's so promise. I always wondered what stopped her from expressing herself like the other two. And she told me yesterday, dude, it was crazy. She, I said, what's going on in your mind right now that makes you so shy? She just bust out crying. Mm. Never, never seen her cry before. She's always smiling, but she's mm. always like reserved. She just bust out crying. I said, you, "You look like you got a lot on your mind. You've been through a lot, mm. and you're holding back." And she was like, "That's funny, Shane. You don't even know me, but you're reading my you're, mm. you're reading my mind, and you're talking about my life right now, like you know me." I was like, "I can feel you. I can sense something's going on." She told me, "Gosh, shit. I'm not going to say any names, but um, she said 
a year ago, she was in the hospital because she tried to commit suicide. Wow. Mm. wow. Because a guy that she was dating cheated on her mm. and made her think that she was the only one. And you know when you're, she's only 18. Well, you know when you're young, your first love is like the hardest. It destroys you. She was only like 17, dude, when, it, you know, when she started dating him. She said it was like a year. And he destroyed her, and she didn't want to be here no more. And my thing, when I was driving down here, I was thinking about that, and I was thinking, guys, girls, because everybody do dumb stuff, y'all need to really understand how you treat each other because what you do to your friend and your girlfriend or your parents today will affect them the rest of their lives. How come you can't have a good effect on them? Why is it so hard to put a good effect on people so their futures can be better? He destroyed her so much, and I'm glad that I met her because I, 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 I take people and I develop them, and I bring them out of, them, out of their shells, and I give them confidence. And yesterday was the first day since we've been working. We've been working for about six months. Yesterday yeah. was the first day she actually started Talk performing yeah. and started releasing and was smiling and you know, she was like, I just felt so good after I expressed that. The other girls didn't even know about it. Yeah, had no clue. They found out that day. So you know, it, it brought them closer, closer together. you know? Mm -hmm. you know the trick about that is that when you have challenging experiences like that, one of the main things you can do to help yourself as well as the other person is forgive. Yeah. And the power of forgiveness is so incredible because, like you said, that gentleman, whoever it may be, um, you know, he probably went on with his rest of his life. Exactly. And he never thought about that moment ever again. Exactly. But we hold on to things as human beings and we become like a human trash disposal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we hold on to other people's junk. Yeah. So one of the things we want to make sure that people understand is never let nobody else's opinions define who you are. Mm -hmm. You define who you are. Mm -hmm. You define where you're going to go. You know, because what you do today is your history. Exactly. Tomorrow. Leave the type of legacy you want people to know about yourself. And most importantly, it's forgiveness. Start with the forgiveness first. Forgive him, anybody else that did you wrong, but most importantly, forgive yourself mm -hmm. for going through that process. And know it's, it's, a, it's a stepping stone to a greater situation. I believe God uh, brings you to a situation where he set you up, not to fail, but to bless you. you know exactly, and to build to, you. To build you. You, you know got to go I mean? through so certain got, things, man. You got to go through it. You can't, you can't uh, shy away from it. Go through it with, a, you know, with, a, with that eagle's eye mentality and then let that build your character. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to add right. that nothing is ever worth your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can be upset and, and I mean, there's nothing that's ever worth stopping what's gonna be there in the future. Exactly. You're gonna find someone better, mm -hmm. you know? And it's, 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 she don't know that because because when you're young, you think your world is right, right now. There, yeah. You think this is it. Mm -hmm. If I lose him, my life is done. I would do anything to let, to show them a future. Showed them 20 years ahead. I'm like, yeah. do you know that 20 years later, you're going to probably have 10 relationships mm -hmm. that are probably going to break your heart? You're probably going to break their heart and blah, blah, blah. Oh. There's going to be so, there's so many things for you to go through, but use this as fuel. And that was my whole purpose of having them express themselves yesterday. Use this situation as fuel to motivate you mm -hmm. to become the best that you can be in whatever it is. That's all I did. I just took whatever I went through. Every person that said I was never going to do it every time my mother took my sister's side or whenever, just anything negative, I used it. And when I was driving this L.A., I wasn't looking like, oh, this is a long drive because I don't like driving long. Yeah. I was looking like I'm on my way to my future. I'm going to show them. I'm going to yeah. show everybody what's up. It took a long time, but I did. It, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was out here for a long time, but, but, but I, I needed that time because you know what happens, dude? You get these, yeah. you get these, I'm not saying any names that I respect these dancers and choreographers, but these choreographers come out here and one year they got, you know, a million hits on this, a million hits on that, and they got, and people loving them and they think they created dance. They think they're the, they, the they think they're hip hoppers yeah. now. Yeah. They think they, they're the kings and queens of what's going on. You're not. You're not. You're just another dancer, choreographer who people appreciate. Mm -hmm. Understand they appreciate your work. You're not the best because I can oh. show you, I can show you, I can show you somebody who will murder half these dancers out here that think they cold right now. That ain't even in LA. That ain't even trying to be a professional dancer. Man. You just I could go to the hood and find somebody that'll murder every choreographer dancer that think they the hottest thing on earth right now. Murder them on on film and walk away from them like when you when you get up to my part, give me yeah. a call. Right. Speaking of choreographers, Shane, I have to ask you this. Uh, mm -hmm. I interviewed um, a couple guys named Rich and Tone. You know who sick. they are? Sick. Of course. Okay, they're very sick. But and and when you see the interview, you'll see what I'm talking about. I hope I'm not starting no beef here or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when I when I was interviewing, I I brought you up. Mm -hmm. And 
either Rich or Tony, I don't know which one it was. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, pfft, Shane, yeah, whatever. And then they mm-hmm. turned, to, and, I, and I was, I like looked at him, and like they, to me, it seemed like they felt felt like they were better than you, and they just kind of. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, or maybe it was like, why are you bring up Shane when it's us? Why, right, I right. think they felt threatened by you when right. I mentioned your no, name. No, you know what? I'm not a negative person. I don't have no animosity toward nobody. I respect their work. They do a lot of good stuff. And you know, when I see each, when we see each other, there's always respect. You know, but whatever they feel about me, it doesn't matter because. Doesn't. I, I'm doing what I do. You know what I mean? They have their lane. I have my lane. You know? So they're going to continue to do great things. I'm going to continue to do great things. And I know one day we'll see each other. And whatever they felt at that time, it will probably well, be squashed. Let's get ready to rumble. But, you know, but, but, but listen, though, because, you know, I don't care about nobody enough to care about what they say about me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Only people that can hurt you are the people that you love and that love you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh-huh. If you've gotten anything negative to say about me, obviously you don't care about me. So why should I waste my time? You know, mm-hmm. this world is very small and careers are very short. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I could go anywhere in the world right now in any most dance studios or whatever and get love and get respect and no and come up and create something that will make you still be like, well, that's some dope stuff. I'm not a dancer by being taught. I'm blessed with a gift. You know what I mean? I have a gift to choreograph, to create, to dance. So anybody that has anything negative to say about me, they just hating on me because I've never did anything negative to any of those choreographers in those Bring it to the dance floor. Stop always, talking. Always Bring it to the dance floor, son. It's on the easy Bring it. We're setting up. We're, Bring I'm, it. I'm going to spark it up. Spark it okay. up, son. We get- I- Put anybody up on Shane Sparks around this piece, man. I back him up in this piece, man. I'm wow. trying to tell you, he the best in the wow. world, man. I, wow. I've seen some of the best wow. everybody have. I'm telling you. Well, okay, let me comment. We gotta, we gotta set up a, on a set on the Easy Show. <laughs> uh-huh. We gotta have the set look like a ring. Okay. That's, that's like a, <laughs> that's not gonna if you got a problem with Shane Sparks or AZ, then bring it to the ring that's and right, see what son. you got. Like, Wait, well, see, right. this, mine this, this, will be, be hosting. No, listen, Let's see listen. What you got. Yours no, will be listen, dancing. listen. It's easy to do that when you don't have nothing to do with the world. It's easy to set that stuff up, but it can really start a lot of drama that I don't okay. need because right. I was never like that. But if you do have anything negative to say to me or against me or whatever, you know, come to me, and I guarantee you, by the end of that conversation, you'll be like, dude, I don't even know why I did that. I don't even know why I was hating on you. Or, what, you know what I mean? Because whenever any choreographer name is mentioned, I always give respect. Right. And if you've done anything negative to me, I usually keep it to myself. And if I do mention it, I still mention it in a way where it's, 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 respectful. It's, it's respectful because I know this world is small, and I know how talented most of the people I know are. So I don't want to take nothing, man. I came out to this place from Cincinnati with with, with a, just a talent, with just a gift, and I did some. I did things that some dancers, the choreographers, would never, never ever do in their entire life. So I don't have no reason to hate, and I'm gonna keep doing stuff. So anybody that's walking around hating, they need to get a life. You know, I don't care how much choreography, I don't care what video you got. It don't change you as a person. Yeah. They haters don't change are just as a chasers. Person. Yeah, haters that's make, my own thing. Haters I'm, make I'm you not greater. haters and motivators. Haters are just chasers. They just mm-hmm. want to chase the, the yeah. path that you you pave. Yeah. So it's all good. You know, I, I don't have no animosity to nobody. You know, that y'all know me. Everybody who knows me, they know. You I don't know what care. it is. Yeah, I, I will put my talent up against anybody in this world. You know, and don't let your job make you feel like you're the best. Because you know, if we had to do that, I I did some of the best. Work and you know, Period. I think a lot okay. of good work, and I still don't okay. look at myself as the best. I you still got credits on one of the biggest movies in the yeah. Planet. I mean, I, I, I know what I've done. I don't have to. I don't have to defend myself. I know, and have, you know what's funny about that? Half the stuff I've done was still. 70% of my work because every time I did it it was always with dancers that really weren't street dancers or it was in a movie where people were telling me you can't you got to dumb it down a little bit because we want this crew to beat this one because the core the crew wow. you're choreographing mm-hmm. is supposed to lose you yeah. know what I mean yeah. so you know and then you teach in classes have this time of teaching classes they're learning how to they're dance how to so dance. You, you know what I mean so this is a trip. I still haven't found anybody who could dance like me, so I really have never really taught my style. Yeah. I'm always conforming, like, okay, to everybody here. Yeah, yeah, they to used to touch. They, they used to just this. They used mm-hmm. to body wave. They used to this because they watch everybody else. They, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm from a different world, so and most people don't like my style because it's hard to do, you know? Mm-hmm. It's, it's very unorthodox when I really do my style. But if I was to bring my boy Chris Tyler, mm-hmm. Keith Sperlin, mm-hmm. from Cincinnati, Ronald mm-hmm. Kiner, mm-hmm. oh, God, if I'd, we'd have came out here back team. in the day, we'd have murdered everybody. Dream team. So, but uh, I don't like to brag, you know, Y'all know my work, so. Yeah, you know what it is. No time. <laughs> Let's I give get a it. shout out real quick to all the old school avant garde people at Moral Landis Dance Studio. More, more, more Landis back <laughs> in the day. You know Landis. what I'm saying? Swoop, uh, Darren Henning, uh, Shonique. Uh, uh, Shonique, my girl. River, River, River uh, Show. I'm telling you, man. Good times. Good times. Lissette. Good times. Uh, Lissette. Yeah, yeah, Lissette. Mr. Wiggles, yeah, Flash, yeah. Popzilla, yeah. French yep. Twist. See, man. I have too much respect to I'm talk telling, negative I'm against anybody. You know what I mean? I respect this world too much. If you love this dance world, you would never disrespect anybody in the dance. 
dance game because you know how hard it is. To and you know dancers come hard. from the gutter. 90% of us come from the gutter. So whenever you see one on TV or doing great, you have to give respect Start to it because you know the struggle. Because we don't, yeah. they don't give us nothing. So that's enough of that. It's your boy Shane Sparks, Planet Dance. I got my boy Easy. I got my boy Willie Shout G. Woo, woo, woo. And we doing our thing and we about to sign out. We about to sign out. Yeah. Gblocktv.com. Planet Dance, the hottest show on the radio yeah. station. Easy way doing it. RMC. Oh. Shout out to okay. my boy Dean. Fan TV. Yeah, Saint Tone. <laughs> thanks for the um, thanks for the logo. Absolutely. You know, we just giving props and props to do into the dance world. I love y'all. I'm gonna always Chris. Do, I'm gonna always do Havana something that's watches gonna... that beautiful little piece that's on your wrist. There. Yes, Havana watches. Give it up. Ooh, uh -huh. okay, okay. Give it up to Glacier. Share the love. Share the love. Yeah. So yeah, much respect to the dance world. I'm still gonna change the world. I don't care what nobody say. Ain't no, that's right. ain't nobody gonna stop this. They tried to. Can't stop. This. Most people Won't never come this. from what I come from. Never go through what I. They would have never went through what I went through and still be here doing what they do. Woo! They'd never Preach. Mm. So it's a gift. I'm, I'm anointed. So indeed, that's why they hate. Me. So Bless. it's all good. Your boy Shane Sparks, we out of here. Get it. Y'all ain't really ready. Go, bro. 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 Go, bro